we celebrated the State of Women in Business Breakfast. So our theme this year is actually to activate. The Colorado Women's Chamber's mission is to make Colorado the number one state for women in business. We do that through a variety of programs, events, certainly recognitions like this, and a policy and advocacy agenda. Every year, we take a deep look into what um, the issues are, what the data looks like, and then of course, we look to the community to see who we can champion and celebrate who are doing really amazing things in the community to serve as examples to the rest of the business community. We're here to support our DPS Office of Business Diversity Director, Murrigan Polani. He is being awarded as Champion of the Year. We are so thrilled to honor Murrigan with this Champion Award because we couldn't think of a better person Somebody who has really championed not only women in work, women entrepreneurs, but also used in his entire career to really lift up those who have been historically marginalized and have faced a lot of these issues that we talked about today. I, I am extremely honored and humbled for this recognition. I, I'm at a loss for words how to explain how happy I am, and I'm very, very proud that I work for an organization that values providing opportunities for local women and minority-owned businesses. Mergen has been a champion of all the chambers in the state for as long as I've known him, whether it's the Hispanic Chamber, um, the Asian Chamber, the Black Chamber, the Women's Chamber, um, and he's done it in profound ways. We work off bond construction projects, and the district has a set goal of about 24% to utilize local women and minority-owned businesses, but we always try to get 30%, and fortunately, we're at right around 30% this year currently and our hope is to stay that way by the end of the bond. It's anticipated that over 60 local minority and women-owned businesses will have worked on these projects for DPS. I really love helping our local women and minority-owned businesses because I truly feel when you make the business community grow, you make the entire community grow. And when we have strong communities, we have strong schools. Thank you, Denver voters, for supporting the 2020 bond.